There are tons of extremely cool or powerful mutants in the Marvel Universe that each have their own unique abilities. Like Wolverine with his fascination for redheads, his metal claws, and healing factor. There's Cyclops with his super powerful ability to shoot lasers from his eyes, which are portals from another dimension. You got Storm who controls the weather. Jean Grey who can control things with her mind and read the minds of others. And then you got your not so particularly cool or powerful group of mutants. Like Gold Balls, for instance, who just shoots gold balls out of his tummy. Or a kid named Bailey who has the power to blow up, but if he ever used that ability, he'd surely die, rendering him the worst mutant ever. Just kind of going to show that getting a cool power as a mutant is kind of like winning the lottery. Because there are more than a few mutants out there that are actually pretty lame and are just kind of hindered by their mutant gift. Take Glob Herman, for example. While some heroes can become invisible, Glob's power to become invisible is limited only to his skin, while everything else is ultimately visible. And it also doesn't help that his ability is permanent. He can't switch it off. Like, just imagine waking up one day and your skin is see-through. I'd be absolutely mortified, and not only that, but your normal life is completely gone. At least Glob's got a sense of humor though. But now to lighten the mood a bit, let me bring you to Ice Scream. Now just by the name alone, what do you think his power is? If you thought, maybe he screams from his eyes like I first thought, it turns out that we're both wrong. Because Ice Scream can turn himself into any ice cream flavor imaginable. Don't exactly know the applications his power could provide on the field, but I guess maybe after a game of baseball or something at the expansion, he could come in handy. Just a little side note, while editing, I found out that he only appeared once, so yeah, don't call me out on that. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next fucked up mutant we got, it is Beak. Beak is an example of a mutant's own power just being a hindrance more than anything. Because while he has the appearance of a bird, hollow bones, and a ton of feathers, he can't actually do things a bird can. And I'm sure Beak is a wicked cool dude, but I'm not seeing him saving the world anytime soon. He kind of reminds me of those really eerie looking birds that just kind of look like skinwalkers waiting to strike when you least expect it. He do be chirping though. But alright, next up. We got Ugly John. Ugly John's mutant gift is having three faces that are each uglier than the last. I don't really know what else to say about this one. Next up is Zeitgeist. Um, I think I said that right. And if you've ever seen Deadpool 2, you might remember him as the dude that killed himself with his own vomit. Because Zeitgeist's mutant gift is vomiting projectile acid vomiting. He's not really someone I'd want to go partying with, in my opinion. Then we got Jazz. Based on the name, you might think, oh, maybe Jazz's power involves music of some kind. Well, Jazz's one and only power is that he has blue skin. That's his only power. All right, now we got the mutant called Tag. And what's Tag's secret power? Does he touch people, causing them to explode? Does he have super speed? No. He just tags people and runs away. <laughs> Jesus, like, who came up with some of these mutants, man? Like, imagine Tag pulling up on Apocalypse and just tagging him. <laughs> like, just imagine Apocalypse's reaction, just standing there, like, wondering what the hell just happened. But anyways, now we're at the second to last member of the incredibly weird member of the messed up mutant list, which happens to be the mutant known as Skin, whose gift is that he can control Skin. What a surprise. But more specifically, he can control the elasticity of his skin. Because the guy has roughly six extra feet of skin on his body. Which means he's a more disgusting version of Mr. Fantastic. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The lamest mutant of them all, and the sole reason for my making of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, drumroll please. I give you... Long Neck! His power is having a neck slightly taller than the average neck. That's fucking lame. That's pretty much the whole list of lame mutants I could find for this video, but I mean at least they all got their own unique abilities. However, I don't really see them going on any super important X-Men missions in the future. But let me know in the comments down below if there are any other mutants I missed, and maybe I'll make something like a part two. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Oi, it's me, Blunder Nick